Negong, which means internal power, developing internal energy, which we call Qi. Chinese, it's Qi. And Weigong, which is external power, that means utilizing our physical body for self-defense. Then uh, Shingong, which is developing our mental capacity. And Wugigong, which is weapon power. Warangdo is one of the most complex martial arts systems. Wigong, or external power, comprises over 4,000 offensive and defensive techniques, including pressure point applications. Other martial arts, they are continuous sparring and fighting and this. But Warangdo, only one movement, finish the opponents, make a surrender. Apkido evolved from Warangdo in 1945. It's a style of self-defense designed to defeat attackers with strikes, throws, or lightning-fast circular kicks. Apkido's signature kick is the spinning heel. As you spin, automatically it adds the speed, the circular movement. So without losing your balance, you develop so much power into the target. Nothing can stop there. Apkido is the way of coordinated power. The foundation of Apkido is the water principle. During a fight, the Apkidoist is like water pounding on a rock. He uses a barrage of techniques until he wears down his attack. Taekwondo, way of kicking and punching, is Korea's national sport. Some historians trace its roots to the Hwarang warrior. Others say it was born this century during the 35-year Japanese occupation of Korea that began in 1910. Traditional Taekwondo is to teach uh, people uh, that how to coordinate your body and mind. So I believe in action philosophy, and, and Taekwondo is action philosophy. This action philosophy has only a few techniques that use blocks, strikes, and the signature spinning and jumping kicks. There's no such a thing as advanced technique. There's only a half dozen basics, maybe a dozen basics. And you only practice the basics and so perfect, and you can combine them with speed and accuracy. Now that is advanced. In just over four decades, Taekwondo has become one of the world's most popular martial arts. Okinawa is the birthplace of karate, the empty hand art of self-defense that began in the 17th century. Today, karate is an international sport. I see it! Karate is no rule, no limits. You can use your whole best, depends on the situation, depends on the opponents, and depends on the time. You can use any parts of the human body. There are several styles of karate. All are characterized by blocks, kicks, strikes, and shouts. Shouting is, some people misunderstand, uh, while well, crazy people making sounds and uh, encouraging himself or discouraging opponents, but it's not that way. It's one of the strongest moment of your breathing which is explosion with the sounds that we call kiai. To train, forms or kata are used which develop balance, endurance, precision and fast reflexes. Karate is always by katas. Why? Because it had 
practice all the time. Otherwise, you forget. You have to sweat. You have the little pain. And you have to push yourself. That's all about it. The martial arts will return on a and &E. A&E special presentation of The Martial Arts is now available on home video. Call 1-800-423-1212 and for $29.95 plus shipping and handling, receive The Martial Arts. She was your permanent playmate. She was a partner in crime. She was your beauty consultant. She was a sympathetic ear. Today, she's just a phone call away. That's why MCI offers five cent Sundays. Five cents a minute, every minute of every Sunday, along with low rates all week long. Call 1-800-SUNDAYS to become an MCI customer. Charge Saab. Enjoy the sun longer. Man, this is scarier than open heart surgery. Open heart surgery? You know, I was thinking of voting to make that a stamp. Please. The Interstate Highway Systems Act would make a much better stamp. You know, neither one of those beats a Rocky Marciano stamp. Would people on a bench become special edition stamps commemorating the century? Postmodern architecture would be nice. You tell us. A century of the New York mom and a and &E special presentation, Empire of Crime, next Sunday at 8 Eastern, 9 Pacific, only on a and &E. Let Showtime take you to a place where anything is possible. Order Showtime now for extraordinary entertainment. Hollywood hits no one else has. Beat the system with Jerry Maguire. Risk all in absolute power. Dodge comedy kicks in Beverly Hills Ninja. Experience Showtime Original Pictures. Journey into madness in the tale of Sweeney Todd. Challenge reality with Showtime Original Series like Stargate SG-1. Experience the possibilities. Order Showtime now. To order Showtime, call 1-800-333-DISH. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. The blonder. Could you please tell me about those plates? Uh, they're round. They're fragile? I guess I'll take them. Over there. Customer service. <laughs> Customer service. Next. <laughs> this is out of stock. Congratulations to the 600 people who just got in on this beautiful Looking for a better way to That's shop? Look no further than the Home Shopping Network. We have what you want. Next. Return to the martial arts on A and E. In the 18th and 19th centuries, peace replaced strife in Japan. Many of the samurai fighting arts then evolved into spiritually oriented systems, using physical training to develop character. This became known as Budo, the martial way. One of the first Budo systems was the ancient art of Sumo. Over 2,000 years old, Sumo has its roots in Shintoism, Japan's national religion. According to legend, a great deity fought a contest with the leader of a warlike tribe over the control of power. The deity proved victorious, and the bout laid the foundation for Samo. Later, the samurai were taught Samo techniques for battlefield combat. As Japan settled into a peaceful era in the 17th century, Samo grew into a popular spectator game. Today, Samo is Japan's national pastime and has a growing contingent of worldwide fans and participants. With both professional and amateur tournaments, 
Sumo is considered by many to be the most brutal of all martial arts. Well, if you break your finger and your ears half torn off because somebody's bashed into it, most of the rest of them up with these huge cauliflower ears. You just keep going. You, you don't give up. Matches are fought inside a 15-foot circular form known as a dohyo. A bout begins with bowing as a sign of respect, then clapping once to call attention to the gods and to show that the hands are empty. The hands touch the ground, the match begins. Ikeda's going to Ikeda. Flexibility and speed are key to winning. In fact, most sumo victories are decided in the first seconds of the match. It's very seldom that once a person's got a great grip that somebody's able to counteract that and, and throw. And that's why the Japanese love sumo so much because these giant, huge gentlemen or these small, incredibly fast athletes, the explosion, the impact of the speed is just... The amateur lightweight class starts at 187 pounds, but there's no limit in the amateur open class where wrestlers can weigh 700 pounds. In a match, the wrestlers are allowed to push pull, slap, throw, or grab the About is lost when any part of the body, except for the feet, touches the mat, or when pushed outside the ring. Step down, the winner, Emmanuel Yarbrough. After the Warring States era ended in the 16th century, the sword continued to be held sacred among the samurai. The medieval art of swordsmanship, influenced by the teachings of Zen, evolved into kendo, way of the sword. Although kendo today is practiced as a sport, its true essence lives on. The kendoists have an expression, kiken taichi, which means the spirit, the body, and the sword are one. To train and compete, one wears a keikogi, a loose-fitting jacket and divided skirt-like trousers, or hakama, which were traditionally worn by the samurai. Its primary function is to give you freedom of movement with your legs and also to kind of hide your leg and, and foot movement so your opponent really can't see when you're trying to advance on him. For protection, a five-flap tarei shields the hips and groin, a breastplate, helmet, and gloves are also worn. In place of a sword, a bamboo replica, or a shing ai, is used. The object is to score points by striking eight specific target areas located on the gloves, breastplate, helmet, or by thrusting at the throat. People think that you know, kendo is a difficult martial art to learn because you, you do have to have specific targets, you have to have proper execution. <laughs> and once they start to master kendo, they think, well, if I can do that, I can do anything. Bows have been popular in Japan since the 5th century BC when they were used in battle. But when firearms were introduced in the 16th century, Kyudo, way of the bow, became an expression of truth, goodness, and beauty, or Shinzenbi. It was always considered that if you studied Kyudo correctly and properly and diligently, you would be, you would be able to understand the five principal Confucian virtues, humanity or benevolence, sincerity, proper decorum and etiquette or propriety, wisdom, and righteousness. All of these things had to be displayed in how you shot. The Japanese bow, or yumi, measures seven feet long, the longest in the world. The object is to hit a target a foot in diameter from about 75 feet. From the very beginning, the bow was considered to be held in extremely high regard by the Japanese as an implement that had almost magical powers was considered to have the ability to, to bring peace to the realm. It was also believed that the sound of the string could chase off evil spirits. 